Yeah, I know you've been watering it. I'm not sure what's wrong. Dear Tim and Moby, What is the scientific method? From Marcy. The scientific method is the procedure scientists use to help explain why things happen the way they do. When people are trying to understand the world around them, they often come across problems that they just don't know the answers to. This is where the logical, step-by-step -step method of scientific problem solving comes into play. Like Moby here, he seems to be having a problem with his plan. The first step in scientific problem solving is to recognize the problem. Right. The plant is dying even though it's getting water every day. Why? To solve this problem, we first need to understand what we already know. Okay, plants need water. What kind of plant is that? Big tree, right. Now we need to make some observations about the plant. The leaves are brown and falling off, and the soil is... wet and squishy. Next, we make an inference. An inference is a conclusion about our observations. From what we've observed, we could infer that Moby is watering his plant too much. Now we translate our inference into a hypothesis. Well, a hypothesis is a testable explanation for the details you observe. What about mm, fig plants do best if you only water them once a week? Sure, it's just a guess, but after our observations, at least it's an educated guess. We'll need to come up with an experiment to test this hypothesis. Here's the plan. We've got four healthy fig plants marked A, B, C, and D. They have the same type of pot, the same soil, and they're getting the same amount of sunlight. The only variable or thing that changes will be the amount of water they receive. Plant A will not be watered at all. Plant B will be watered every day. Plant C will be watered three times a week. And Plant D will be watered just once a week. We'll check back in a month to see what's happened. What do you know, it's been a month, and I'm still wearing the same shirt. Let's record some new observations. Huh, Plant A doesn't look too good. Plant B doesn't look so hot either. Mmm, Plant C looks a little better. Whoa there, Plant D is doing all right. Time to analyze our data. Hmm, based on this experiment and our observations, it looks like the fig plant did best when it was only watered once a week. From that, we can make a conclusion. Fig plants indeed grow best when they're watered once a week. Well, yeah, to be really sure, we should repeat this experiment several times just to rule out accidents and variables we may have forgotten to consider. If the experiments don't support the hypothesis, then the hypothesis has to be rethought. Back to the drawing board, so to speak. But if lots and lots of experiments do support the hypothesis, then that hypothesis can eventually become a theory. Well, in science, a theory is an explanatory statement that's been repeatedly confirmed through experimental testing. A theory that's been confirmed over and over and over can become law, but that doesn't mean it'll be true forever. In the strictest sense, there's really no such thing as scientific fact. Scientists are always learning new things about the world around us, and you never know when they may find some new bit of evidence that forces us to redefine our understanding of the world. Right, using the scientific method can help you be right more often, and not just in science class. You just have to make sure you do all the steps. If you form a hypothesis without making any observations, then you really are just guessing. And you'll never know if your hypothesis is true or not without testing it with an experiment. Ah. Uh.